What's going on first grades? Mr. Hunter here with your first grade math lesson for today. Uh, we're going to jump right into it because I know you guys are ready to roll. So Eliana, Dylan, Jeremiah, and Sam, I need you guys to be focused, ready to work, and let's get started. All right, we're looking at pages 261 and 262 in your book, okay? We're going to be talking about writing the missing numbers. We're going to be talking about doing uh, combinations, writing the sums, least to greatest. And we're also going to be doing counting by ones, but in the hundreds. And I want to show you guys that it's not as hard as you may think, okay? It's just simply like counting to 10 regularly, all right? So let's jump in right away. Um, it says write the missing numbers, all right? So we have 45, and we have that's plus what? We don't know what it is. So we have 45 plus, there's nothing there, but we have an answer. The answer is 68. So how do we find this answer? How do we find this answer, guys? Well, the best way that we find it is we actually take the 68. What we're going to do is take the 68. We're going to put it up here. All right. And that's, uh, I'm going to write it a little bit better than that. So you have 68. And you're going to minus 45. All right. So why do we do that? Well, we have the answer. We need to find what's in between here. So we need to find what's the difference between 68 and 45. So we take the bigger number, we put it up top, we take the smaller number, and we're gonna subtract it. So what's eight minus five? Eight minus five is gonna be three. And then what's six minus four? Six minus four is going to be two. And our answer is gonna give us 23, all right? You're gonna put 23 right here, and then when you add it up, just to make sure, Five plus three is eight. Two plus four is six. So that gives you the right number. That is the correct answer. And that's how you find the missing number. Okay, so we're going to do that for all of number one's problems, all of one of number one's problems. So if you're looking at how to do the next problem, let me just give you the instruction. What do you do? You see 33, the number 33, and then you see there's a blank. So we don't know that. Then you're going to see 47. So what do we have to do? You take the biggest number, 47, and you're going to subtract 33 from it. That's going to give you the answer. You're going to do that for the other problems too, all right? Everybody got it? That's really simple. That's all you're doing for number one. Let's look at number two. This is a simple uh, section as well. It says circle the number that is the greatest. Circle the number that is the greatest. So how do we do this? Uh-oh, I skipped a step. That's why we have to look at the directions all the way through. It says circle the number that is the greatest, then underline the number that is the least. All right, so our three numbers for the first one. One, nine, six, one, oh, six, one, six, nine. All right, so here we go. So we look at the first number, right? We look at the first number. They all say one. So we, how, we don't know any difference there. Let's look at the, that's the hundreds place. Let's look at the tens place. There's a nine, there's a zero, and there's a six. So which is the biggest out of these? So the nine. So right now, we already know this is going to be the biggest number because this one, the tens place, the zero is not bigger than nine, the six is not bigger than nine. So already, that's the biggest one. So what do we have to do? We have to circle it. All right. So it says, now, which is the smallest? Look at this, guys. You don't even have to look at the last number. You just have to go here. The zero or six, which one's the smallest? This one. So you put that. So that's the least, least, that's the greatest, and that's in between. Very simple, but you always start with the hundreds place. You always start with the number on the left to see which is the biggest, okay? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna try your luck. Uh, try to do that with the second set of numbers as well, all right? So very simple. And if at any time you guys are like, oh, Mr. Hunter, I don't understand. I try to explain one problem so you can do the rest. So just take your time, pause the video, rewind it, and listen to it again. But you look at the first number. They all had the one. Then you look at the second number. Which number is the biggest? Oh, nine. Okay, so we know that one. So we're going to circle that. And then you look at the zero and the second number and the six and the second number, and you're able to tell. All right, here's where I wanted to help you guys out because we're, we're getting here, and I want to make sure that we know how to count by not just ones, not just by twos, not just by fives or tens, but we can count in the hundreds. So it says count from 101 to 160. Color the even numbers green. All right, so it gives us two directions. Count from 101 to 160. But guess what? Some of the number blank, some of these are blank. So what do we need to do? We need to fill them in. And then what are our even numbers? Our even numbers always end with zero, two, four, 
6, and 8. Our even numbers always end with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So 101, 102, 100, and what's after 2? 3. So guys, remember, you're not looking at anything. Just count like you're counting. So it's just like 1, 2, 3. What's after 3? 4. So 104, 105, 106. Okay, 106. What's after 106? It's a uh, seven, 100 and 107, 108. Yes, 108. Then 109. Okay, here's where we switch up. Now we have 110. So now we have 10. So now we have to do something different. So what's after a 10? So now you're changing the ones place and the tens place. No, you just change the tens place once. So we have 101. 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What's after 10? 11. So what do we need to do? It's still in the 100. So we put 100 and then 11. 112, 100 and after 12 is 13. 113, 114, yeah. 115. 116. You guys are going to keep counting all the way up. After you count all the way to the end, you're going to color all the even numbers. So any number that ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. But since this is 110, is that even or odd? Well, guess what, guys? I know it's a 10, but look what it ends in. Ends in a 0. So that would be an even number. This ends in a 4. Even number. Even number. Even number. Guys, pay attention. Even numbers always end Even numbers always end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, okay? That's what you're going to do for that problem there. And we're going to turn the page, all right? Turn the page. Now, on page number 262, it says draw checks to show the combinations and write the sums. So you have to look at the number. It says 0 plus 12. So how many checks do we write for the 0? 0. How many checks do we write for the 12? We write 12. And then you have to put the answer in there. So it's 0 plus 12 equals 12 because 0 is nothing. All right, look at the next problem. 2. So we have 2. Oh, don't just answer it. How many checks do you need to put? You need to put 2 checks. And then look at the next one. It's a 10. So how many checks do we need to put? 10 checks. And then what are we going to get? 12. Mr. Hunter, may, Mr. Hunter, guess what, guys? Um, I have a question for you. Mr. Hunter sitting here and I see these first two answers are 12. Well, guess what? All of the answers, you may notice something about them. They might have something in common. We are adding up the family of 12. So this is the fact, or the um, not the fact family, but the sum family of 12. So you may notice that all of these answers have something in common. Take your time, make sure you answer it, but make sure you put the check marks so we know exactly to show your work, okay? Down at the bottom, Write the sums. Ooh, these are three numbers. These are three numbers. So let's look at this. Let's look at this. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so we have the first problem. We have 63 plus 21 plus 14. All right, 63 plus 21 plus 14. So what's 3 plus 1? It's 4. And then what's 4 plus 4? It's 8. So you put an 8 down there. So you're just taking it one step at a time. 3 plus 1 plus 4. So you have 6 plus 2. Do those two first. 6 plus 2 is what? It's 8. Okay, 6 plus 2 is 8. And then we had a 1 to it. It's going to give us 9. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get your answer. So that's going to be 98. You're going to break that down for each one of those moving forward um, for the last two problems. And then at the end, it says write greater than or less than. Greater than or less than. What's your greater than sign? Like a triangle, less than. All right, so we have 45 and then 63. You need to write what it is. Is 45 greater than 63 or less than 63? It's less than, so what do we need to do? All right, that is where we're gonna do that. You need to do that for all the numbers. 144, is it bigger or smaller than 125? It's greater than, so you 
You know the science. Really simple. You guys know how to do that. And then under the bottom on number four, it says mark the bubble under the number that is two more than 146. So you look at the number 146. You have to find 146. And then what's two more than 146? Think about it this way. What's two more than six? You'll find your answer. All right. Um, this is your math lesson. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you tomorrow on our Friday for our math test.